What is up? This is Raktar. Welcome back to another episode of my Legend of Goemon starring the Mystical Ninja. That, that's, that's not right. Let's play Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. So we're back here on the Mutsu shoreline, and we had that sign that said something about a red button. Well, sure as shit. Oh, look, there's food over there, and I am missing a, a heart of health. I'm gonna go get that. I get sidetracked so easily, I'm like... Storyline, storyline, no way, food. All right, cool. So, yeah. All right, so there's this red button over here, and it's gonna make uh, that thing move or whatever, and that's gonna allow us to go to another area that we need to go to. And I don't even know. Oh, there we go. Oh, we can do an underwater attack. Holy junker punk. That's crazy. Oh yeah, so as you can see, there's now a new yellow mark on the mini-map over here. You know, they call it a mini-map, but it's actually gigantic. Um, but uh, that new yellow mark is going to take us to a zone that we need to go to. Wow. Oh, Japan Sea. Underwater, eh? Alright, so it's freezing. How is she, like... Like, let's talk about this for a second. So... Apparently, you know, we're swimming underwater, whatever. I will allow that. Um, we do have mermaid powers. But I don't think that anybody said anything about us getting the powers to survive in extremely cold conditions. But apparently, here it is. We do have the power to survive in extremely cold conditions, because here we are underwater not like freaking freezing to death down here like that's ridiculous like you think we would freeze our asses oh <gasps> what is that that is obviously probably what we're supposed to be going towards that's a freaking like space maybe it's a spaceship maybe that's how or no because the stone circle is going to take us to space but this appears to be, or maybe it's a submarine, but I thought it was, I looked at it and I was like, this is obviously a spaceship. Whoa. What is going on here? There's like, whoa, gotta dodge the spike things. I wonder if there's anything down this way or, okay. Holy cow, so there's like a whole, this game, I was like, I'm feeling like this game is kind of ahead of its time with a crazy place like this, like, you get this whole, like, underwater... Okay, I thought the whole thing was underwater. We do have some super glitchy... Oh, there's another elevator over there, okay. We do get some super glitchy elevator graphics coming up here. And what's up this way? Oh, crap. Basic running skills or something I do not possess. Oh, we already have Mr. Ali... Oh, it's sushi! That's clever. We get to jump on little... We get to do some sushi platforming, and now we have Mr. Elephant showing the inside of this castle. Start button and Z, yes I know. I know the drill game. I've been playing you for quite a while now. So let's see, other than that we have a couple of doors here. We have that elevator and then we got two doors. Check out the elevator, I guess. Or the map, alright. I always thought it was silly that the map in this game, um... I guess so the first floor is just that hallway and it's got two things that go up. Second floor... okay, cool. Oh, I get it. This is the, the gourmet submarine is what it's called. And that... whoa! Dude, these things shoot beams of insanity and... What is this guy? That is a creepy face! Where do I recognize that creepy face from though? Oh crap, he is pissed now. Uh, I feel like that is a creepy face that I've seen somewhere before. Get your death on! I'm hoping if I kill all these guys I'll get some kind of reward. Do I get some kind of reward? Nope. Just a door. Well, whatever. I'll go in this door. That'll be fine. So I didn't even need to... Whoa! If we fall here, we die. And there's a freaking dinosaur or a dragon that is wanting to kill us probably ah! get your dead oh that was close 
Alright, dude, this guy... Dude, this guy's like bugging out. We gotta kill him. Alright, see, I can't... I can't hit him. Jeez. That guy almost killed me. So I guess we are jumping around on rice balls right now because that one had some uh, seaweed on it. Cool! So this is really gourmet. That's, oh, and this... Okay, so these rooms connect. I gotcha. If I had looked at the map, I would have known that. Now that dragon's gonna be back to murder us. Blah, whatever, I don't care. And we can't... I'm Presumably, I mean, I'm not gonna test it on purpose, but damn it. I'm not gonna, like, purposely test this out, but I'm going to assume that if we fall in whatever that shite is below us, we automatically lose a life, but... I don't really know. I always forget about losing lives in this game, like... It's really a major part of the game, but... For some reason it never, like, occurs to me as, like... Oh, losing a life, that's something that happens in this game. You can die. And I am really curious, and I'm obviously, if I... I'm gonna be honest with you, if I get down to zero lives in this Let's Play... Oh, why is that jump? It should not be so challenging, I feel like. If I get down to zero lives in this Let's Play, I'm gonna be completely honest, I am not going to, uh... I'm just gonna use my, my saves and just start not dying ever. Alright, let's see if I can actually make this jump. This looks like... I'm trying to figure out what food this is. And I guess maybe it looks like it could be like tiramisu or something, but it's not, I mean maybe it's not even meant to be any food, but just based purely on like the layering of it, like it seems like they meant for it to be some food. Oh my gosh. I don't know why that jump was so challenging in the first place, but it looks like we need to go this way first. We'll wait for that to get up high to make this jump a little bit easier because apparently I am having some massive jump fail today. All right, do we have more lava down there? And a, and a ladder up, okay, so apparently the lava is not an auto kill because there's a ladder up from the lava, okay. Hmm, yeah, all right, cool. And what's, is there a reason for going down there or is that just if you mess up? I feel like maybe the only reason you would go down there is if you mess up, because I don't, Let's go down the ladder really quick, just for that, just in case, and see if we can- Oh, crap! Oh, crap. Okay. That does not automatically make you lose a life. Cool. Okay, well I can't really get the camera angle to switch. I guess that is only if you mess up so you can get back up to the top. And we now know that uh, the lava does not kill you, but probably should not be walking around on it. Probably- Ooh, we got some craziness going on here. And some more... Oh, this is all just, um... Like, oh, can I kill these guys? Oh, yep. And I can also fall. Got some craziness going on in here. This is all just, uh, rice with... So I'm gonna try and j jump onto one that doesn't have dudes on it, so I'm not immediately being accosted by enemies. And I'm going to try to not... Oh. Alright, cool. Oh, okay. We can do this. Oh. Or can we? Man, this is gonna be one of those situations again where I'm just gonna be getting my butt, my booty kicked. There we go. That's what I was going for the first time. Much better. And these ones are gonna come to life. Yep. Do they try and make it so like, you can't tell which ones are gonna come to life? Because if they're trying to do that, they're not... I don't feel like they're doing a particularly good job, like, oh, crap. I am miserably failing at this so badly. Alright, like, oh my gosh, these aren't even like tough jumps. But uh, apparently, I am made out of fail right now. Alright, screw those guys, I don't even care about killing them, I just care about living. Alright. Except for these guys I do care about killing. I'm livid! I am livid is something... Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just said that. 
That is totally like something that my English teacher in middle school used to always say when she was mad. And then she would like go into some like tirade, not a tirade, she would like, she would talk about, okay I'm just gonna cut to me getting that key. Alright, wait, oh my gosh. I got the key and I wasn't even thinking, I didn't, huh. I was thinking about my English teacher in middle school. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I'm actually gonna finish that story. So she would always uh, go on some tirade about uh, um, about diction. Uh, like she'd be like, I like to use the word livid because I feel like it gets the point across better than just saying I'm angry. And she was trying to like teach us about. She's like, so remember when you're using words, make sure you use good diction. Make sure that you uh, choose words that really express how you feel. And I'm like, dude, bitch, if you're always livid, then you have some major problems because, like, you never say that you're angry or that you're, like, annoyed or mad. It's always livid. And so it's like, it's like, seriously, maybe teaching middle school is not the best job for you because you're just always angry at your middle school students. Like, seriously. I don't even know. I don't even know about that situation, is all I gotta say. Alright, so hopefully the plan... That's the plan. Man, I want that food. I'm gonna risk it. The plan is to get to the room that I need the key for by the end of this video. And it's gonna happen no matter what. This, this I do promise you. Alright, so, we are now to this room that needed a key. And with that, I'm gonna end this video, and I will see you next time.